Start with four positive real numbers a, b, c, and d, and suppose that a times d is greater than b times c. Then draw a right triangle with legs of length a, d, and a, c. Rotate a copy of this triangle and scale by the value b over a, creating a right triangle with legs of length b, c, and b, d. Place the two triangles so they meet at complementary angles. Connect the apexes of these two triangles with a straight line to create a third triangle as shown here. We can use the Pythagorean theorem on the original two triangles to find two of the side lengths of this new triangle. The first is b times the square root of c squared plus d squared, while the second is a times the square root of c squared plus d squared. Because the first two triangles fit together along complementary angles, we know that the blue triangle is also a right-angled triangle, so we can then use the Pythagorean theorem to find the final side length, or the hypotenuse of the blue triangle, to be the square root of a squared plus b squared times the square root of c squared plus d squared. The resulting diagram is a trapezoid. We can then draw another right triangle in the upper right corner to complete this trapezoid to a rectangle. One side length of this new right triangle is AD minus BC because it's equal to the difference of the two parallel side lengths of the original two triangles. The other side length of the new right triangle is AC plus BD because that length is equal to the sum of the two adjacent side lengths of the original two right triangles. But now we can apply the Pythagorean theorem one last time to this new right triangle. From this theorem, we see that the square root of a squared plus b squared times the square root of c squared plus d squared, all squared, must equal the quantity ac plus bd squared plus the quantity ad minus bc squared. If we square the left side, we get the resulting formula that the quantity a squared plus b squared times the quantity c squared plus d squared equals the quantity ac plus bd squared plus the quantity ad minus bc squared. This theorem says that the product of two sums of squares must be a sum of squares itself. The result is of particular interest when all the numbers a, b, c, and d involved are actually integers and not just real numbers. In this case, we call this Diophantus' sum of squares identity.